the light. Let there be light. So today it's a green day. We're working with the heart. And for today's class, it will be good if you have something to place under your shoulder blades. So I'm using this big bottle because it has quite some volume to it and I'm quite bendy. Hello everyone. So you need something to place under your shoulder blades. It can be something big, like I have a firm bottle I'm using, but it could also be a blanket or a towel. So you can use a blanket, a towel, fold it up, and you want to place it under your shoulder blades for the beginning of the class. So already, whoever is connected can start that way. As I said, I'm using this firm plastic bottle because it kind of fits nicely under my shoulder blades. But you can use whatever you have. If you do have yoga blocks, blocks then use your yoga blocks. You just rest on top and if you feel that you need some support you can place your hands under your head or you can place a little cushion under your head or fold your mat and have some hat. It might also feel good for you to rest the crown of the head down and allow your upper back to open but rest assured that this is not a comfortable position for a lot of people so feel free to just rest with the back of your head on the ground and we'll start the class there so until people get to join this instagram live and this zoom you can rest here with your shoulder blades resting on top of a couple of yoga blocks a blanket a folded blanket or something firm like some big books Rest there and relax. Relax the muscles of your face. We're using this as a soft way to start the class and a gentle passive way to open up the chest. Today we're working with heart. The color is green. So the energetic center at the center of the chest is said to be a place where you can find your deeper conscience the bright light and also it's said to be a refuge where we can go to whenever we need to get away from all the pain and all the suffering so rest there and rest all your awareness at the center of the chest if you don't feel very comfortable you can use uh, another blanket or fold the blanket a bit uh, less so that it's not as high remember it's the beginning of the class what you want is really to feel that the shoulder blades are supported and you want to feel that the shoulders are free the lower back is long and you can rest there and passively allow the chest to open The heart energetic center is called Anahata. Anahata means unstruck. It's the place that cannot be struck, cannot be hit, cannot be violated. And it's interesting because a lot of the times we assimilate heart with heartbreak, heartache as something fragile. But according to the yoga wisdom that's not the heart we often build a lot of structures around the heart presumably to protect our heart so we build all these mechanisms all these stories about how we should protect ourselves and how things should happen and how things shouldn't happen and when those stories are shattered apart because of something that happens someone is not loyal although they said they would be or whatever it is that breaks, as we say, your heart, then all of those structures, they fall apart and we think that that's the heart. We feel so much pain. 
but that's not the heart that's everything around the heart that we built so today the class is dedicated to willingly breaking all of those structures apart so that we can open up and access that place of refuge, that place that cannot be struck, that place at the center of the chest. For a few more seconds, just rest your awareness there at the center of the chest. You can place a bright green light there at the center of the chest, or you can repeat the mantra YAM. YAM is the Bija mantra, the seed sound for the heart. So keep repeating in your head, yum, yum. Well, rest in your awareness at the center of the chest, at the color green. Relax and focus there. Now slowly we'll start removing whatever it is that we had under our back. So you can bring some weight to the right arm and turn to the right in order to remove the block or the blanket or the bottle from under your shoulder blades and you want to rest down again. So lie down, face up, just noticing how you're feeling after that passive penetration of the heart center. Keep your awareness at the center of the chest, at the color green. And make that spot as narrow as possible. Focus at that place at the very center of the chest, your spiritual heart center. Now resting, rest. Uh, motionless, so without any movement, we'll start bringing awareness to our breath and we'll breathe into our lower belly. So send all of your breath all the way down to your lower belly and exhale, pull the lower belly back in. Try to go higher up to your belly button. Inhale and send your belly button high up and exhale, pull the belly button back in. And go to the center of your rib cage. Inhale, slay, allow the ribs to flare out. And exhale, everything comes back in. And then send that air all the way to the center of the chest. Inhale into the chest, send the chest high up. Exhale, pull it back down. And then go higher up to your collarbones. Inhale at the top of your lungs. And exhale. Bring your awareness back to the center of the chest. Allow the breath to be natural. Swallow your breath down. So sip. Swallow down and then slowly start moving your toes, your fingers. So moving your head from side to side. Bend the right knee, bring it to the chest and then bend the left knee, bring it to the chest. Grab your knees with your hands and pull the knees all the way down close to your chest. Pull the shoulder blades down the back, then bring your chin in. Then allow your shoulder blades to widen. So bring the elbows up and find a long upper back. So you want to widen the shoulder blades, elevate the scapula, and find that access to the back of your heart. Inhale into that part of your body, the upper back. And exhale, release. Bring your knees to the right side. Extend your right arm up to use it as your pillow and rest on your right side. Use your left hand to push up and without much effort, come to all fours. We'll start bringing some awareness to our whole spine, starting from our tailbone. So uncurl the tailbone up and then 
exhale and tuck the tailbone down. Inhale and curl tailbone just your pelvis moving. And exhale, curl it back in. Inhale and curl it up until your pelvic tilt. And exhale, curl it back down posterior pelvic tilt. Inhale anterior pelvic tilt, pull the belly in and arch your middle back and your upper back. And exhale, tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly in and round your middle back and your upper back. One more time, inhale and curl and arch your back, pick up the chin this time and exhale, curl tailbone under, pull belly in, press into the hands and round your whole back and chin. Come back to neutral. We'll bring some awareness to our shoulder blades. So press into the hands, and as you press, really push and round your upper back, but really widen the shoulder blades. And then exhale, allow your chest to just drop down, to sink down so that the shoulder blades come together. So inhale, and exhale, push, Widen the shoulder blades and then pull and push the chest down. Okay, you can try it a few more times at your own pace, just noticing how far together you can bring the shoulder blades and then how you can push them wide apart. You might even feel a pinching sensation when you bring the shoulder blades together. That's normal, play with it and then push apart. Okay, from here, we'll work a bit with our scapula. So we want to bring the body back so that the shoulders come next to the ears. So it's the rest of the body moving and the shoulders stay there and the ears come to the shoulders. And then bring the rest of the body forward, but keep the shoulders where they are, above the hands, and feel how the scapula is moving back. Press into the hands, move the body back and feel that the scapula is moving up towards the ears and then move the body forward, keep the arms still and feel how the scapula moves back. So the scapula are the two wings at the top of your back, your shoulder blades. So feel how when you move forward but you keep the shoulders where they are, the shoulder blades come down down the back and then as you move back and you keep the shoulders up, the shoulder blades move up. Now you can play a bit with it. So move forward to feel that the shoulder blades come down and then move back, feel the shoulder blades coming up and then drop the chest, feel the shoulder blades coming together and push the chest up, feel the shoulder blades coming apart and then Drop the shoulder blades together, so drop the chest down, and with the shoulder blades together, bring the shoulder blades down the back. Shoulder blades together, bring the shoulder blades up. Shoulder blades together, come back to center, push into the hands, widen the shoulder blades. And then from here, move the chest forward, lower the scapula, and then move the body back and elevate the scapula keeping the shoulder blades wide. Do these actions and then you can do a little wave, dropping down and moving forward and coming up and moving back. So what's happening is I'm coming down and I'm bringing the shoulder blades together, then I'm dropping the scapula by moving forward and then I'm coming up, widening the shoulder blades and then I'm elevating the scapula. So all of your awareness at your shoulder blades, play with it, play with those four directions. Widening, narrowing in, elevating, and depressing. Once you get a hang of it, you can go the other way. So moving forward, keeping the shoulders over the hands, just playing with your chest and with your shoulder blades. So moving forward with the shoulder blades apart and then bringing the shoulder blades together as you move back. And coming up, widening the shoulder blades, moving forward and then dropping, joining the shoulder blades together as you move back. 
come back to center and exhale, come back to child's pose, rest. In your child's pose, so now you, you're not, you don't have any weight on the hands, so this is an open chain movement. Before we had a closed chain movement because we had our hands blocking the movement. Now that our hands are off the movement, you can play a bit more with your shoulder blades. So just having the hands relaxed, just there for some balance, for some support, you can bring the shoulders up, elevating the scapula, and then move the shoulders down, depressing the scapula, and then moving the shoulders away, widening the shoulder blades, and moving the shoulders closer together, pinching the shoulder blades together. And then from there, you can play around with the different movements keeping the shoulder blades together as you move up and down and then widening the shoulder blades as you move up and down and then doing circular movements and you can even try to vary what happens with one shoulder blade and with the other bringing the left shoulder blade towards the right and moving the right shoulder blade towards the right too and seeing how that feels and then doing it with both shoulder blades moving to the left Good, come back to center. With that awareness of our shoulder blades, come to all fours and we'll come to some more cat calves. And curl the tailbone, keep the belly in, pull the shoulder blades down, pull the shoulder blades together and bring the chin up. And then tuck the tailbone under, press into the hands, widen the shoulder blades. Bring the chin in and keep the shoulder blades towards the sacrum. So throughout the cat cow, keep the shoulder blades depressed but vary the movement with widening the shoulder blades in the cat movement and uh, bringing the shoulder blades together with your cow movement. Good, okay. Tuck your toes under, push back, downward facing dog. Widen the shoulder blades, elevate the scapula. So this might make more sense today than the previous times. Really widen the shoulder blades. This is actually um, protraction of the shoulder blades. Push into the hands to elevate the scapula and uncurl the tailbone back. Breathe here. Bend the knees, gaze forward, and then inhale, walk to the front of the mat. Hack the back of your head, bring the chin in. Allow your elbows to come in and allow your weight to come forward. You can bring weight to the front of the legs. So press the balls of the feet down, feel the kneecaps lifting up. Feel the thighs contracting to hold you from falling forward. Really bring the weight forward. We need strong legs to feel grounded, to feel the support of the ground so that the heart can trust and open. Bend your knees, keep your chin to your chest and start uncurling up. Come all the way up and then release your head, reach the arms up. Elevate the scapula again, widen the shoulder blades, reach up through the arms. Inhale, wide up and exhale, arms to the sides and then bring your hands to heart center. Just place your palms to the heart. If you'd like, you can place one hand at the back and one hand at the front. Press down into the feet, feel the support of the earth, pick up the pelvic floor, pull the belly in and lift up. Remember what we were doing the previous weeks? So root engaged, lower belly engaged. Send your sits bones down, neutralize the pelvis and pick yourself up through the back of the skull. Inhale into your heart, open the mouth and exhale. We will chant YAM, just like OM, but instead Y-U-M. So inhale into the chest for the chant. class throughout the practice you'll keep your awareness at the center of the chest at the green light there you can keep listening to the sound of yam 
you can visualize a green bright light or you can simply feel the breath there air is the element for the heart center so feel the air there release your arms by your sides make sure you're at the top of your mat or that you have some space behind you if you don't have a mat press the feet down reach the chest up we will be doing uh, classical uh, sun salutations shivananda salutations that you want the arms to come to the sides every time. If you go up and to the sides every time you come down, joining the shoulder blades together as you come up and joining them together as you come down, really pushing the heart open. So press into the feet, exhale, relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw, keep the belly engaged. Inhale the arms up, reach up, slightly back, but and exhale, fold over the legs, bring all the weight forward, pull the belly in. Inhale the right foot back, right knee down. Exhale, stay here, push the hips forward, opening up the hip flexor. Inhale the arms up again, same direction, to the sides, all the way up, reach up, maybe palms meet, maybe not. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Hands to the ground, bring your knees together, your chest and your chin to the ground. Inhale and slide to cobra, press the hands together, elbows in, pick up the chest, the chin, and exhale, push, downward facing dog. Inhale the right foot forward, left knee down, and again, push the hips forward, really squeeze the left butt cheek. Inhale, reach the arms up, chest up, chin up, and exhale, come to the front, feet together, fold forward. Press feet down and inhale, rise up, arms to the sides and arms up, chest up, chin up, back bend, exhale, hands to your sides, left side, inhale, come up, reach up, chest up and exhale, fold, keep the belly in, keep the lower belly pulled in, inhale the left foot back, knee down, push forward and then Next, inhale, you'll bring the arms all the way up, chest up, chin up. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Follow your breath, keep the belly engaged, pull the shoulders back, shoulder blades towards the sacrum. Inhale, slide forward, keep the shoulder blades together, pull them down, and exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale, the left foot forward, right knee down, push forward, bring the arms up, and exhale, fold forward. Press into the feet and inhale, rise up, reach up, chest up, chin up, hands together, and arms by the sides. Inhale your arms up, interlace the fingers together. Just the index finger relaxed. So index finger pointing up. Relax your head, reach up through the arms, and exhale, laterally stretch to the right side. Press into the feet, pull the belly in and reach away using the right hand. And exhale, really squeeze the elbows together, the wrists together and pull a bit more. One more deep breath into your whole left side. And exhale, pull a bit more. Press the feet down, pull the belly in and inhale, reach up. Come back up, finding that length. And exhale to the left. Keep the belly in, open up the chest, inhale. And exhale, reach away. One more deep breath into the whole right side. Keep pressing the feet down. And exhale, squeeze the elbows together, the wrists together, and use the left hand to pull more. Inhale, come back to center. Reach up. And exhale, release, find cactus arms. Pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. And use your elbows to bring the shoulder blades together. So push elbows back and you'll feel the shoulder blades coming in. From here, you want to pick up the chin and then pull the shoulder blades down the back and really push the chest up. Inhale here and exhale here. Pull the belly in and reach up through the chest and exhale, press the elbows back, pull the shoulder blades down, pick up the chin, inhale deeply. And exhale, slowly release, come back to center. We'll do a round body position again. 
So in this round body position, you want to widen the shoulder blades, pull the shoulder blades down, and really close the front of the body to open up the back of the heart. Standing head to knee pose, I'll give different variations. So press the left foot down, bring all the weight on top of the left foot, and bring the right knee up, flex the right foot. From here, pull belly in, and flex the front of the spine. Pull the shoulder blades down, and you can grab the shin, or you can grab the foot. You can stay here, keep rounding down. If you want to, straighten the right leg, and if you want to, bend the elbows and bring head to knee for five breaths. Keep the body rounded, four, four. Widen the shoulder blades, pull the shoulder blades down, four, three. Keep the feet flexed, four, two. And one, inhale, come up, and slowly release. Take a moment to feel what that felt like. A lot of grounding was needed for that and a lot of core action. So we're building up the different energetic centers. We started with the root and we needed it today too. We also worked with the pelvis and we need to keep the pelvis at the right direction. And then like last week we worked with core, so uh, really engage. Let's try it on the other side. Press the right foot down, pick up the left knee, flex the foot, move the hips over the right foot and then exhale, flex, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, grab the shin or the foot, stay here or extend, you choose, stay here or bend the elbows, head to knee, four, five, pull the shoulder blades down the back and widen the shoulder blades, four, four, keep pressing down to a strong right leg, four, three, Flex the feet, two, really widen the shoulder blades, pull them down, four, one, come back out of it, one step at a time, and breathe. Good. Open up the feet, hip distance apart, press the feet down, reach up through the back of the scalp, pull the shoulders back and the shoulder blades down. So bring your arms up and then from there we will bring the chest to face the right and we'll open up the arms to the sides, reaching forward through the left arm and back through the right but keeping the hips square and you want to gaze forward. So there's a twist happening with the upper body. Keep the hips square, keep the belly in and up. Pull the shoulders away from one another and lower the shoulder blades. Inhale here, exhale, reach further away through the hands. Inhale here and exhale, relax. So that's the action that we want in standing bow. Bring all the weight to the left foot so that you work with the same side. So the right arm goes back and the right arm will be back again. <laughs> Bend the right knee, grab the right foot from the instep. Inhale, reach up to the left arm, reach down through the right knee. Reach away through arm and knee and exhale, swipe the leg. Find the same action with the arms. Reach forward through the left arm, back through the right and kick up through the foot for five. Keep the standing legs strong and straight, four, four. Focus on what's happening with the shoulder blades, four, three. Widen the shoulder blades, pull them down, four, two. Kick higher up through the foot, lower the stance, four, one. Kick to come out and stand still. We're flashing the heart, so stand still to allow the work to happen. Okay, preparation. So feet hip distance apart, and this time right arm forward, left arm back. You can do what we did before and start up, and then open up, or go straight for the arm variation. Gazing forward, reach out way through the arms, pull the shoulder blades down, press into the feet, pull the belly in, reach it up. I repeat, reach the arms away, pull the shoulder blades down, press down into the feet, pull the belly in, and reach it up. Keep the back of the scalp proud. Inhale, and exhale, keep the belly, reach out way through the arms. Inhale here, 
and exhale, release. Good. Standing bow, all your weight on the right foot. Preferably, you want the right leg strong and straight, and the weight comes to the ball of the foot. It's one of those impossible movements. If you see the final variation of the pose, the legs are in splits, and you're reaching forward, and still you're catching your balance. So one day we'll be there, one day we'll do it. Today we'll do our variation. So grab your left foot from the instep and inhale the right arm up. Reach up through the right arm, down through the left knee. Inhale and exhale. Keep that length as you twist the upper body. Four, five. Reach away through the arms. Four, four. Press down into the standing leg. Four, three. Keep the belly in. Four, two, and come a bit lower, lower the shoulder blades, kick up through the foot. Four, one, kick to come out with control and stand still. All your awareness at your heart center. You might feel dizzy, you might feel like you're going crazy, but stay still and breathe. Standing camel pose. Open up your feet wider apart, so much distance apart, and bring your hands. So I, would, I always did it with this variation, which seems to be more uh, intense, where the palms are supporting the lower back and the elbows are coming in. I recently found out that most people just bring the hands to the waist. So feel free to just bring the hands to your waist or to bring your hands to your lower back. This helps me to really lengthen the lower back and bring the, bring the elbows in, helps me to bring the shoulder blades together. So wherever you are, bring the shoulders up, the shoulders back, the shoulders down, and then pull them together. Again, it's easier for me at least to have the elbows back, hands on the lower back. From here, keeping the shoulder blades down, pressing to the feet, and inhale, chin forward, and chin up. Feel that the glutes are working, so squeeze your glutes. Use your fingers to feel that they're squeezed and then enter your variation of camel on the legs. Four, five. Keep the lower belly in and lifted. Four, four. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Four, three. Keep breathing. Four, two. And one. Press into the feet. Keep the belly strong and inhale. Come up. Arms by the sides again. Stand still and breathe. Breathe more air into the center of the chest. Good. Open up the legs. So bring the right foot all the way back and open up to the side. Bring your hands to the waist, pick up the chest, shoulders back, shoulder blades down. Water to position. So open up the right foot to the side and bend the knee. Ideally, you want to have the legs wide apart so that the knee is at 90 degrees. Press the left outer foot down, pull the belly, lift up through the chest, inhale, bring the arms to the sides, water to, and then arch your arms. So right arm up, left arm down. Maybe you grab opposite fingers. Keep reaching up through the right elbow, down through the left, and then gaze towards the back of the room, well, to the back of your pose. Four, five. Keep the belly in and lift up through the right elbow. Four, four. Keep pulling down through the left elbow. Four, three. Two. And one. Release. Come back to center. Warrior two on the other side. Bend the left knee, pull belly in, reach up through the chest, reach away through the arms, reach down through the shoulder blades. Arch your arms, left arm up, right arm down. Grab, grab opposite uh, hands or your t-shirt and gaze towards the back. Pull the belly in, reach up through the left elbow, down through the right. Keep pressing the right outer foot down, feel the right glute working. Press the left foot down, feel the left thigh working. Inhale deeply here, and exhale, reach the elbows further away one from the other, inhale, 
and exhale, slowly release. Come back to center, bring the feet in. Stand up, bring your hands to the chest. Inhale deeply, reach the back of the scalp up. Open the mouth and exhale. Stand still, rest your awareness at the center of the chest. We'll do a pranayama, an energy um, manipulation exercise. You want to open up the feet a bit wider apart so that you feel that you have a strong base. Press down into the feet, pull belly in and lift the chest up. Open up the arms. Press that way through the palms and pull back through the fingertips. From here, We'll do Kapalabhati, pushing our way through the palms and pulling back through the fingertips. Keep the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down and keep pushing our way through the palms and pulling back through the fingertips. Relax the muscles of the face. So Kapalabhati is short, sharp, quick, exhale breaths. We'll do one through the mouth and then through the nose. Imagine like you're blowing candles and just keep going at your own pace. It's forceful exhalations. You empty the belly completely so that the inhale is just automatic. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, exhale out of the belly, and then inhale half a breath into the belly. The whole thing happens at the belly. And begin when you're ready. Keep pushing our way through the palms. Pulling back through the fingers. Awareness at the chest, but only the belly moves. 20, 19, 18. Five, four, three, two, exhale completely. Push our way through the palms, pull back through the fingertips. Inhale and lift the arms up. And exhale, arms by the sides. Come to seated for the second round. You have the option of doing it again through the mouth or doing it through the nose this time. Make sure you're sending the sit bones back, the long lower back. If needed, place something under your back or sit on a chair. You want to feel comfortable. All your awareness at the light at the center of the chest. Bring the arms up. Push our way through the palms, pull back through the fingertips. Shoulders back, shoulder blades down, and reach the back of the skull up. Inhale into the lower belly, and exhale completely. Remember only the belly moves. All your awareness at the light at the center of the chest. Inhale half a breath and begin through the mouth or through the nose. Keep pushing our way through the palms. Pulling back the fingers. Short, sharp, quick, exhale, breaths. Push further away through the palms. Further back through the fingers. 20, 19, 18, 17. 10, 9, forceful exhalation. 6, 5, 4, Three, two, exhale out. All the air out. Push away through the palms, back through the fingers. And then inhale the arms up. Really reach up through the fingers. And then exhale, arms down. Sit up tall. Inhale a deep breath all the way up to the collarbones. And then hold your breath. Bring your chin down. Keep your shoulders back, your shoulder blades down. Lift up through the pelvic floor. All your awareness at the heart center. Hold the breath for 10 more seconds. All your awareness at the center of the chest. You can see a bright light there getting bigger, stronger, brighter. Bring your chin up, relax the pelvic floor, exhale. Breathe normally. Okay. 
welcome any sensation, any thought, any feeling. the integrity of the seat but feel relaxed feel steady strong grounded relax your eyebrows relax your jaw relax your awareness at the center of the chest Turn the palms facing upwards. This will make it a bit more intense. Wherever you are, move the chest towards the ground. Pull the short legs down and bring your chin forward. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Pull the shoulder blades together. Reach the hips up. Keep the chin moving forward. Maybe you're higher up. But keep those directions happening. Shoulder blades in, shoulder blades back, chin full. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw. If your palms are facing up, we'll bend the elbows and bring one elbow at a time to shoulder height. Move your chin forward, pull the shoulder blades back. Breathe into the center of the chest. And then if your hands are in this cactus variation, we'll press down into the elbows, pull the shoulder blades down the back towards the sacrum, and then push a bit more round the back. Now we'll round the back, elevate the scapula, press into the hands, widen the shoulder blades. Opposite movements. Breathe into the back of the heart. Good. Then we'll go to classical Anahatasana. If you did it before, do it again. Hands all the way forward. Widen the shoulder blades and allow the chest to come to the ground. Maybe the chin to come to the ground. Keep your hips over the knees and breathe. Pull the shoulder blades together, but this time elevate the scapula, so reach the arms forward. Pull the belly in, round the back. So opposite movements, press into the hands and widen the shoulder blades. Bring the chin in, inhale into the center of the shoulder blades. And exhale, release, bring your hands back. Come to rest all the way down onto the ground. And open up the right arm to the side, bend the right elbow. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Keeping the right arm in this shape, in cactus. Use your left hand just to press onto the ground next to your left shoulder and move your weight on top of the right shoulder. Take it easy. So we're moving the whole body to face the left and then pull the shoulder blades down and breathe. If you want more, bring some more weight onto the shoulder. And if you want more, you can always bend the left knee and step the left foot down. This is quite intense. So keep the short legs coming down the back and feel how you're opening the right chest. Inhale into that opening. Open the mouth, exhale. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, maybe push a bit 
ball is in the left hand. Very slowly come back to center and do the other side. Take your time, no rush. We take our time coming into the pose and going out of it. Maybe this side will feel different. Pull the shoulder blades down the back. Move all the weight towards the left and gauge where you need to go into, the, into each variation. Keep the shoulder blades coming down and keep pressing into the right hand. Again, if you want to, you can go deeper. But breathe, pull the shoulder blades down the back. Breathe into the left chest, the left shoulder and open the mouth, exhale. Two more times. Slowly come back to center. Very slowly, very, very slowly. Good job. Bring your hands down and push. Rabbit pose, knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders, shoulders all the way to the ceiling, all the way towards the sacrum. Bring the chin round your back and play the crown of the head onto the ground. So opposite um, engagements, widening the shoulder blades, rounding the back, pulling the belly in. Inhale, press the head onto the ground. If you're comfortable here, exhale your arms back. Allow the tops of the hands to rest there. If you're comfortable here, feel free to then bend the knees and grab your feet with your hands. Keep breathing into the top of the head. Keep rounding your back. Exhale through the mouth. Wide on the shoulder blades. Wide. Inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Slowly come out of the pose. And come to lie on your back for a bridge pose. Rest. Open up the feet, mat distance apart. Press into the feet and use your hands. Press onto the palms to have some more access to the pelvis. You want that posterior pelvic tilt. So turn your pubis to face your chin. Press into the feet, lift the pelvis up, and exhale the chest towards the chin. Pull the shoulder blades towards the feet. Inhale to the center of the chest. And exhale, option to interlace the hands together and move the shoulders closer together, shoulder blades stack onto one another. Press your feet down, lift the hips higher, move the knees away, move the chest to the chin. Inhale into the chest, the front of the chest, the sides of the chest, the back of the chest, open the mouth and exhale out. Keep the knees moving away to traction the lower back. Inhale into the chest, the front of the chest, the sides, the back. Open the mouth. One more time, inhale deeply. And exhale through the mouth. Release your arms. Allow your upper back, your middle back, and your lower back to come down. Keep your knees bent. You don't want to straighten the legs because we want the energy to stay from the pelvis up. Place your hands onto the chest. Close your eyes and breathe into the chest. See how high the chest can go, how, how wide the chest can open, how much you can press the upper back onto the ground with every inhale. Keep your chest wide and then exhale and deflate slowly. Bring your chin in, lengthen the back of the neck. Inhale, we'll hold our breath. So inhale into the chest, the front, the sides, the back. Hold the breath, keep your face relaxed, keep your awareness at the center of the chest, that bright light there getting bigger, brighter, stronger. You can place the sound of yum 
very caring sound to feel that expansion. Hold for 10 more seconds. Relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw, exhale through the nose. Breathe normally, rest here, beginning to bring the knees together. Stay receptive, stay receptive to whatever comes up. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, and stay receptive. Extend your legs out, point your feet, pull the belly in, we'll do some activation on the front of the body before Shavasana. So you want to lengthen the arms by your sides, bring your chin in, and then from there, round your body forward, and then arm curl slowly, but chin comes back last. Chin in first and round your body forward and then chin in, come back and then bring the chin up. From there, chin in, move the chest up and then reach the right hand towards the right foot and then reach the left hand towards the left foot and then back to the right. Keep your belly strong, press the lower back onto the ground and move with your breath. Right side and left side, maybe reach the chest a bit further up, right side, and red, left side, inhale back to center, and exhale, come down, bring your knees to your chest, hug your knees, press the knees onto the chest, and move the hips away, pull the shoulder blades down the back, chin in, relax the eyebrows, relax the jaw, and then use the knees to push up, and the hands to resist. Keep pushing up with the knees, let the hands resist. Keep lengthening the lower back. Inhale into the lower back. And exhale, send the six bones away. Inhale into the rib cage. And exhale through the mouth. And then inhale into the chest, top, sides, and bottom. Open the mouth, exhale as you extend the legs out. Shavasana. Feet to the sides, shoulder blades towards your feet. Allow the arms to just rest. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, relax. For the next few moments, bring your awareness to the center of the chest. Visualize that place as an open space where feelings come and go, where emotions enter and leave. And form an intention where you ask your heart to say whatever it might have to say. It's a safe space where you're open to listening to whatever might have to come up. If nothing comes up, so be it. If anything overwhelming comes up, again, just watch it. You can feel it. You keep observing it and allow it to take you away. Just watch and learn from whatever comes up. Learn more about yourself about what you want, about what's going on. Relax and watch.
listen the more we learn stay receptive to grace stay receptive to everything good stay open center of the chest and inhale deeply into that space, that space of love, of grace. Exhale through the nose and allow that grace to fill up the body, the whole body. Inhale more love into your heart and exhale, let that love nourish your whole body. Relax the body and inhale the arms up, reach up. Exhale, hands together into palms at the heart center. Thank you for your beautiful practice. Thank you for trying this and for being open, being vulnerable. Like the love, the grace in me, honors and celebrates the love, the grace, the light.